Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Michael Chabrins RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2200 BH bunkhouse travel trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camp experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. On your campsite, of course, be plenty of room for your awning to come out. Now on your off campsite, I want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Your water is going to be at the front of your off campsite, potable end campsite, and your power is going to be just above your tires on your driver's side of your tow vehicle. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, unhook your hitch. First thing you do is level your unit. You have a power tongue jack here. Simply extend to raise, retract to lower. You have a night docking light. You have a hand crank this rubber stopper will come up you can run that up and down if you don't have power speaking of power check your battery post when you arrive once you got your unit level next thing you do is stabilize it your unit comes with power stabilizing jacks controls for that are right inside your door here so the front ones I'll be the closest ones in. Simply run them down. As I run them down, I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, and debris, and hot black top in the summer. Better distribute the weight and keep these from sinking into the ground. Pick up a four pack of those with your 10% off coupon, put them underneath your stabilizing jack feet, and run these down just until they are taut. Unit starts to lift it all, go ahead and stop because all we're doing is stabilizing the unit. We already have it level. Run these down in the front and the back. The back ones will be right here. Get your unit level, or we already have our unit level, get our unit stable. We can go ahead and hook up our power and water. Have this long 30 amp cord, 30 amp cord, the way these new ones plug in is a twist in from the left, twist to the right, put your gray washer on. Now at the end of this 30 amp, you need to plug in a home or anything. There's a 30 to 110 adapter that comes in your convenience pack. Get your power hooked up, let's hook up your, our water. Now at the campsites, we will hook up to city water connection. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI protecting the lines in your unit. Use this when putting water into your city water tank or your black tank flush. Hook that up, hook up your hose, but don't turn our hose on yet. Let's find your hot water heater. Come around to your campsite, toward the back, use your hot water heater. All we're doing at this point, making sure our drain plugs back on. May have left it out the last time you were out camping, draining your hot water. Go ahead and Get this back on there nice and snug and tight. Once that's on there, you can go ahead and turn on your hose. If your hose has been on for a little while, go inside and we'll open up your water spigots. Once water is coming out of those, you know that the air is out of the lines, you can shut them off and you can go ahead and turn on your hot water heater from indoors. So let's say you're gonna go camping and you're not gonna be using city water. You're gonna be boondocking. You want a fresh water tank right next to your city water is your fresh water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. Simply fill that up with a hose. Two ways to tell when it's 
full. One, there's an overflow valve right here. Or two, on the inside where you check the levels of your tanks, your fresh water button will show you when this is full. Just remember when using fresh water or potable water is when you're gonna wanna turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump when hooked up to city water. That's already pressurized. All right, let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the outside unit. On your off-camp side, we'll start with your pass-through storage. Your water connections. There's your water drain for fresh water. Below your shower is your water drain for your campsite water. This is access to the back of your fridge. It's a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace, you clear of that. It'll get rather warm. Again, your power. Your black tank flush. We'll talk about that when we dump your black and gray tanks. Coming around the back of your unit, your spare tire. Here's where you hook up your cable at the campsite. Spray port. Hook up a hose to that and spray the unit off. Come around to your campsite. I'm gonna start with your awning. I haven't ran it all the way out yet. I wanna show you how far when I get inside. But you do have a pitch adjust. So you pick the cables down by your door. It's raining, you want the rain to come off this way. Sip the pull down on that. And the rain is diverted to this side. You can do that from either end. Come around here before opening this. I'll show you where your quick connect LP is. It does set up on a magnet. And you just have an outdoor fridge and a table to set a griddle on. Again, your hot water heater. You have a 110 out here. Your outdoor speakers. Your LED awning lighting. Coming over here on your under campsite. Coming inside your storage here, Furion sells a Bluetooth speaker that uh, can connect here. Coming around in front of your unit, your propane does have a cover. It is on a regulator, simply point it toward the tank you wish to be using. Left you loosely to turn your gas on. Again, your power tongue jack. It's prepped for cable, you can plug in a cable or excuse me, prep for solar, you can plug in a solar panel there and that'll trickle charge your batteries. That about covers everything on the outside. Let's go take a look inside your unit. Going in the stairs, first thing I'd like to point out is where the fire extinguisher is. Make sure that you and everyone that's camping with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway. Coming up to your left as soon as you come in the entry doorway is your control panel. So here's where you check the tanks I was telling you about. Here's your brand new battery. Fresh water, that's where you can tell when your potable water is full. Black and gray tanks. Down here is where you turn on your water heater if you're hooked up to gas. Your water heater if hooked up to electric. Here's where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. There's your awning light and your ceiling light. And all that is your awning extend and retract. I'm gonna extend that the rest of the way out. So you see the top is gray and the bottom is white. When you see this white flap come down, falls down to 90 degrees and you can see your bar. That's as far as you wanna go. You will see these will extend further. But you don't wanna just run that down like that. So keep an eye as you're running it, down, running it out. Run that back in here for you. You'll we'll notice you want to make sure that this door is partially closed in order to get your awning in. It's too far open, it'll run into it. And your awning lights. Alright, let's get around the rest of your unit. So here your table legs will remove. And then you set your table down on these Black pieces here, remove your back cushions and put on top and you have another sleeping quarter here. Over here on the wall, USB ports and your Furion sound system. And then I'm not sure if we'll get any stations on inside here, a lot of times I don't. But, you can shut zone one and two off. Excuse me. Okay. Get some stations in there. 
Hold zone one in, now shut that off. Now it's just outdoors. Shut off outdoors and have just indoors. Hold it and it'll come back on. More instructions for that here. Put that off. You can mount a TV here, it's all prepped for it. Here's your furnace. Turn your furnace on. Shut that off. You notice your furnace fan takes a few minutes to shut off. Up in the ceiling here, you have a hand crank open vent. Lighting and USB ports here in your uh, bunk areas. Coming into your bathroom. I think I want to mention in here, this is where your 110 with GFCI resets at. And maintain your plumbing. Um, just like you would at home. Keep an eye on your plumbing. A little more so in this because you're bouncing a house down the road. Coming out in the hallway is an access panel to your breaker box of fuses. A couple 40s, a 10, and a handful of 15s. Highly recommend having some of those with you when you go camping. Turn on your AC unit here. You have just a fan on this side, three different. Over here is AC. Here, cold the coldest. It's blasting pretty cold. All right, I'll show you how to set up your bed. Start by jackknifing the bottom down. Just need to lift it up on the front and lay it down. Do your hooks here. The whole thing comes towards you. And just that quickly, you have your Murphy bed. Closet space here, as well as the other side. Smoke alarm right above the bed. Close this up. Simply lift from the front. Right back up. Set your locks back in. Jack, your bed back up. Just say quickly, you're back to your sofa. That about covers everything in here. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite. You know the bathroom lights are off. So what I like to do is start by shutting off my ceiling lights. Because then, I can walk around and see all the individual lighting that I need to go through the unit. And shut off a lot of one touch light in this unit come back over turn on my ceiling or just walk around make sure everything's secure you know everything in your closets your doors and drawers show off your lighting and exit your unit bring up your steps they just fold up underneath at this point bring up your stabilizing jacks Unhook your cable and water. If we're using potable water, we're going to drain those water drains. If we're using city water, we're going to drain those drains. Get those low point drains emptied. Come around to your hot water heater. Open up this pressure release valve. That's gonna spew a lot of hot water out of there. Don't worry about any of these wires, it's fine. Um, once that's done dumping hot water, put that handle back down, otherwise your door won't close. And then you can pull this low point drain. Hook up our hitch and head on up to the dump station. At the dump station, go ahead and park accordingly. Your dump's gonna be all the way at the rear on your off-camp side or driver's side of your tow vehicle. Hook up your sewage hump, pull your black tank. After it sounds like that black tank's no longer draining, go ahead again with your water pressure regulator, hook up the hose at the dump station, leave that black handle open, and run that hose for a good five minutes. It's gonna wash out your black tank for you, get all that nastiness out of there. If nobody's behind you, run it longer. Just get it good and clean. Once that's done, unhook your hose, close your black tank, and pull your gray tank. That's going to be your cleaner waters, your sinks and your showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out for you. Take your sewage hose, store it in a nice sanitary place, and head on home. 
again thank you guys so much for your purchase hope you enjoy this bullet for many years to come happy camping